exactly what Living Resources does for the people that they serve. Um, unfortunately, my memory's not that great, so I wasn't able to memorize all of the programs, but I just want to kind of throw them out there for you, okay? Um, really, the programs that this whole organization has, has expanded to is clinical services, day habilitation, employment services, fine arts classes, hearing and interpreting services, after, after school programming, the college's uh, experience uh, in collaboration with the College of St. Rose, and the Career Next College programs with SUNY Schenectady and SUNY Cobble Skill. Uh, as was stated earlier, sure, there's, there's brick and mortar here, and, uh, and it's a great honor for Fred to have the building named after him, but it's all the people that are part of this organization that make it work, and all those programs that run so smoothly and contribute so much to the community. None of this, as you all know and are hearing today, could ever have happened without the vision, without the passion, or without the progressive thinking of Fred Ehrlich. And for that, we are truly grateful and very honored to have met a man such as, as Fred. So when you hear Fred behind you, ready to put his hands on your shoulder. Or in your okay, pocket. Or in your pocket. <laughs> He works his way down very quickly, by the way. Um, those are the things that, we, that, are, that he's looking to support and to fund and to create. And obviously, with all of you here and all that, uh, uh, that is available to all of you, to, uh, uh, I mean, we're very fortunate, as, you, as we all know. Uh, and certainly with the support of our friends, uh, in this legislature, and they are our friends, have been for many, many years, so we're very grateful for that. Um, just keep that in mind as, as you see Fred and, you, and you're talking to him, because none of that, frankly, none of this could happen. Obviously, there's a tremendous team that supports everything that Fred visions, but it's his vision that has really brought this to where we are today. So with that, I also want to recognize there's going to be a plaque that is going to be uh, placed over in the bookcase, I believe, correct? Uh, of in, and, uh, and that recognizes the individuals that contributed to the uh, naming to the sign that is up for the building there. I just want to recognize some of the individuals and thank the donors that made this possible. We have the BBL Charitable Foundation, Claudia Bonesky and Daniel Vallelli, Steve Boucher, John Edwards, Richard First, Dr. Philip Fusco, Christopher and Shirley Regan, Margaret Kerwin, Robert Lazar, Dr. Richard Medved, Michael Caranta family, Richard Riccardi family, Daniel Round, Alta Shalin, Kevin Tully, Sean Bianya, and Deborah and John Walsh. And uh, we thank them again for uh, supporting and really helping with the recognition of this building. So thank you very much. Thank you all.